Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. And he's still there, so he didn't obviously fall off. Uh, anyway, sorry to ruin that nursery rhyme. Um, we are in um, Abbey House Museum, now uh, in Leeds, and it's one of my favourite places that we've ever been to. I just love it. I love the feeling. I love the way they've done it. Now there's a big museum piece downstairs, which is like a, a street scene, which if you guys are watching Most Haunted, um, and that was where we first ever introduced Little Watson um, on, onto the show. Um, it's great. And here we are in the upper floors. This is what I've just decided to take um, because I don't get up here that often and a lot of stuff's happened up here in the past. Uh, so I just think it's worth having a good old look around. And without any further ado, let's do. There's a nursery rhyme thing. There's a big old shoe there. Right, let's just have a little wonder. Is anyone here? We know this place is full of paranormal activity. It's been witnessed by many, many, many people. And I'd love to witness some tonight. There's lots of people watching and they'd love to see something tonight. If you can show yourself, that would be great. Now we've just walked in a full circle. And now we go through the shoe. Right. Well, and so that is the shoe. Now, I'm thinking of if we go, there's two entrances to here. There's that way and there's that way. Um, and we'll go through there in a second. But this is where we started with Mr. Humpty. What the hell was that? Hello? Noise, they're right at the end of this room. There's nothing moved in there. Now, that chair, I don't know whether that was there, it doesn't seem like it would have been because I've just noticed it now. If I, so I walked through here before, so I'll have I'll have that in shot. And if that's the case, we'll know whether that's moved. We know this place is full of paranormal activity. It's been witnessed. Did you move this chair? Move it back. Well, I'm saying move it back. I'm just thinking that chair's against the wall, so it looks like that. That's got to have moved, because there's no way would anyone have that chair in the middle of the room. Well, thank you. If you did move that chair, can you do it again? I've not actually properly even asked out yet. You can hear some of the cars going on outside. That's one of those cars where the driver has a very small willy because he's obviously got one of those exhausts that's like a, a dustbin hanging out the back of his car and it's probably the tiniest little engine with a hole in the exhaust. Right, there's no sounds in here whatsoever. See, the eerie thing about this place is, um, is it's full of toys. 
toys that um, some of you will be looking at thinking, what's he talking about now? <laughs> this particular toy, my brother, who's older than me, got one of those for Christmas. And now it's in a museum. Nope, I don't feel old at all. Um, but I mean, look at this. That <laughs> looks quite scary. And yet, for a kid, it, he or she would have played on that all day long. Happy. Oh, what's in there? I can't see that. This room here is pitch black. And it's only infrared. So I'm seeing this as you are. Oh, quite right, now he says. What's that? Oh, it's a chair. All right. So I'm seeing this the first time as you are. What is in there? Oh, crumbs. What is it about toys? Old toys, they're scary. Can you move something else? If you did indeed move that chair. Can you do it again? A walk away? Hmm. No, I just heard a noise then. Hello? Are you here? It was a little click. Right. Well, it is a little bit quiet, even though we've had something move. We know where that is now, so when we go back, we can, um, we know if it's moved. There is light here, there's a, um, which is bleaching at the shop, but that's a uh, security on the stairs. Wow. I used to love these things when I was a kid. Absolutely love them. The haunted room, I remember this one. Nundudno Pier. God, he's blown that for ages. So, if you're here, can you make a sound? Can you let me know you're here? Now I haven't got a torch on, which is rather stupid, I know. But as you'll all probably attest to, not the most stupid thing I've ever done. However, what is through here? Hello? Is anyone here? Just turn the uh, viewfinder around to give me a little bit of. Well, I think this is a little bit of light. Sorry, I, I'm aware I start sentences and just assume you're all psychic, so you know how I finish them without actually talking. Right, this is just looks like more modern stuff. Yes, it's more. It seems to be more of a celebration of schools. Hang on, is that how high is that? That's good. Uh, more of schools and stuff. So it's quite warm. Not uncomfortable in the slightest, which is rare. But uh, right, I thought I heard. Hello. something on the stairs and you see how light it is outside still right I just heard something down here I'm gonna go upstairs in just a second hello hello I heard something right in the distance. Hello? See if that chair's moved at all. Hang on. 
it bloody well has. That's exactly the place it was in last time. Now, I'm just going to show you, there's no one here. I mean, literally, I'll go through here as quick as I can. The thing is, you'd hear people wandering around. I mean, there is no one here. The noise that made just walking across there, they'd have to go across there. Oh, and let's go in here, so show you around. There's no one there. And that has moved yet again. Wow, well thank you. Can you move it again? Now, what I'm gonna do is put, watch that fall off now. Actually now, if I put that back, If I put that back exactly in that spot, which is where we had it before. Now, I'm going to leave, right, I'm going to leave this running for a little bit and I'm just going to do a circle um, and come back. So you let me walk off and just to see if that moves while I'm not here. Please move the chair if you can. If you don't like where it is, move it back. I know I wasn't gone for very long, but it's still long enough for that to move if, if it didn't want to move, so I just think it's moving it regardless of whether I'm here or not. If you want to move it again, feel free. Let's go up to the top rooms. That's what I love about doing this. You can't, you never get, you never get tired of it, never. How privileged do you feel when, because some of you guys have done, you know, obviously these ghost hunts and stuff and paranormal investigations on your own. When something happens, you feel so privileged. The thing that's, whatever it is, has done that for me, me being here. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Wow, what a fantastic picture. I'm not getting the whole thing in just in case. Now this, I, I believe, was the abbot's bedroom up here. Now we've had stuff in here before, in the past. As I recall, this, oh, this kept opening. There's tape on it now. I don't know if you can see that on the infrared, but that's the tape there. I think, because we all kept thinking it was paranormal, but I think it was just, it had blue tack on it and it was just opening. I think that was confusing people, so. If you're here, can you make yourself known? Can you show me a sign? Just here's some people outside. We're not far from a, a, a main road. We're just there, and you've got Kirkstall Abbey just across the road, which this used to be a part of. Now, there's lots of different stories about here in this room. There's stories of children being heard and seen, there's of this, of this um, monk, priest, whatever you want to call, whatever the the, the robed figure that's been seen in here is it's, there's a i mean we've that's supposed to rock on its own which would be great if we could get that to do that to this i'll tell you what why don't we pop this here 
let's just see if we can get this sorted. So, can you see? Yeah, you can see there. And if I go sit in this one, ah, oh, there we go. We're all we're all here. To the spirits that haunt this room or this abbey house, I ask you to come and talk to me. I know you don't have to, but you haunt here. You've been seen here so many times, which means you must want to be seen or you want some sort of communication. And so I ask if you will move something in this room. There's a, a rocking horse there. I'm actually going to have to move that out of the way, because I think that's in the shop. Can you move the rocking horse? Can you move something else in this room? I've done it before. Come on, show yourself. feel strange I have to say it does feel strange not threatening come on can you copy this right there were, th there were three knocks can you copy this that panelling. It's amazing that that's copied everything I've done. Every single thing I've done. Why on the panelling? Are you behind the panelling? Are you behind the panelling? Right, that door's shut. Hello? Stairs, and that door is shut. Actually, right. Let's just see if it shuts naturally. I'm mean, gonna have to push that. Even that is not shutting, so it's not. It's opening. <laughs> which proves the point it couldn't have shut on its own if it's opening on its own. Obviously opening on its own is not paranormal, that's just the hinges, but do that again from here. That's, no, it's not even open on its own. Just give it a little bit of a wee, there you go. I could actually feel that go off of its level, which means it cannot shut on its own. It needs force. Can you shut that door again? Another knock. 
This is what gets me now, it's starting to heat up. And there, I mean, there's no one in here. I don't know what this is actually. Is this some cupboard? I don't even know what this is. No, I'm looking at the... Oh no, I thought that was a door. Oh, it is a door, but, but it's a door that don't, doesn't open. So there's no way this is a completely bare and empty room with the exception of that, which you'd hear opening and shutting, there is nowhere for anyone to go to make those noises. Can you walk around me? You can hear people outside enjoying themselves. I find that strange. When you hear people laughing outside, and we're in here and something's happening that is from a complete another dimension, a complete, it's from the other side, from, it's bizarre. I know where I'd rather be, here. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. If you shut that door, can you shut the door again? You stick that there. Try and raise that a little bit so we've got the whole door in shot, just in case, you never know. How's that? Room shot as well. Oh, Can you shut that door? Can you? Can you move this door? Can you close the door? Just sit. Here. Please can you shut the door? Please shut the door again, if you can. The door's been opened to its widest it can be, if you can. Can you shut the door? Oh, come on. I, I, I'm so desperate for that door to shut. Bloody hell, what? And it's opening, and it's opening, it's opening. That, that shut to about there, and opened again on its own accord. Now we know no one's there. Oh, that's fantastic. So pleased we can do a lock off and something works. Can you do that again? Right, okay, that was a loud one. Right. The problem I've got here is I've got just a loud bang there on that um, panelling, and that door's closed twice now to my uh, reckoning. So. I'm just quite amazed at that because it... Can you do that again? Oh, it's so difficult. It's so difficult to, to, to know where to point because we all want to get the best. I suppose if visually I'm not going to see anything there, but visually I'm going to see something there, so let's keep it there. Can you do that again? Can you close the door once again? In fact, how about if I do the similar thing I did before? How about I'll go sit next to it. I think I sat over there when we got the 
the knocking before, so can you shut this door for me please while well, I'm just sitting next to it? You've done it before and I'm so grateful for you. Can you close the door again? Can you close the door once more for me please? Well you can hear people outside. It's like they're standing right outside the window and we're two floors or three floors up. Might shut the door myself just to keep the noise down. You're not going to do it, are you? How about if I close the door? See if they can open it. Can you open the door? <laughs> Ghost is probably sitting there thinking, "What? Open it? Shut it? Shut it? Open it? What am I?" I tell you what. If that door pings open now, I will run out of this room. Actually, I probably won't. Now, if that starts to rock, I'll run out of this room. But that's only fair, and you would all do the same. Can you please open this door, move something again in this room? What you've done so far has been wonderful. Again, this is one of the things I love about doing these sort of half hour pieces, is that it, they're uncut. They're just, this, as we've recorded them, that they're, and the stuff you get sometimes is just phenomenal. I think a lot of it is just, we're just witnessing what happens with us being here or not. And other times there is a proper connection, a proper uh, communication. You can get questions answered and, and I love it in such a short time. We're so privileged to do this. We truly are. And thank you very much for everything you've done. And time's starting to, to fade on us a little bit. Slowly start to take a walk back. This door hasn't opened. What's in there? Oh, that's just, oh, that's just a storeroom. Right, well, let's not go in there because I think we're not really allowed to go in there. You never know what paper's there. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait to look back at that closing because that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And anyway, God bless you all and see you on the next one. And thank you.